let us try to understand the plan of this project this is the most important tutorial which i consider controlling electrical switches in asp.net core web api with c# win forms and esp32 iot module so this is the most important tutorial that gives us an overview of the whole plan so this is what is going to happen let me explain step by step first of all it consists of uh, three uh, three different projects the first is a winforms application the second is an asp.net core web api application it will store the data of the project and then we have an esp32 module that has various wires that go to electrical switches electrical leds i'll be showing it with leds but leds can be immediately connected to uh, relays and solid state switches to control large power appliances also now the most important thing is that in this tutorial in this project all three of them have to be on the same wifi network this is the most important part which is you can say a requirement that they should be all on the same wifi network this should not be a big problem for a commercial project that controls electrical street lights where your government agencies they can always have a large scale wifi network that can connect your street light modules with an asp.net core server and the winforms application or this can be an android application this can be anything because our communication is ultimately going to happen through web api so let's see the various steps that take place first of all this is an esp32 module that contains the electrical bulbs this is a blinker that tells us that we are connected to the wifi network it is a blinker while this is one bulb this is second bulb this is third bulb and then we have this winform application that contains three uh, switches you can say when you click on this one it will turn it off when you click on this one it will turn it on it will basically toggle the state and in this case you can see status of this is on and this is glowing this is off 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 so how is everything occurring first of all when your this module this module boots up it sends a get request to your asp.net core web api and it sends its machine address the machine address of an esp32 module is the machine address of the wifi module placed on it it is stored through factory and this is a constant for this wifi module it uniquely identifies this module so it sends a get request and in the get request it sends its machine address its machine string which goes to the server this server stores this machine address into a database and along with a zero zero state of all the switches this happens during first time because when there is no entry of the machine in this database it will make a zero zero entry and when the same request it comes the next time it this module this mod this database will already contain the state of switches and this state is returned back as a response to this get web api and on the basis of that these switches states are shown on off on off whatever is the state that was stored in the database so basically when the module starts it sends its mac address and a search query is made on the database and the current state of the switches is returned back and these states are uh, set now let's come to the next step when this c# winforms application which is running on a counter on a client platform on a client computer this will send a get token request to the web server it obtains the jwt token it sends a predefined user id and password this is sent to the server and it sends the and it sends back the jwt token this token will be used in subsequent requests to the server in place of the user id and password so this is a jwt token based authentication that is going to be used in this tutorial so the first purpose is to obtain its jwt token and then immediately afterwards immediately in the next step 
it sends a get request to obtain the state of the switches from the database and according to the state that it receives it sets this status off on so this is now completely synchronized with the state on the actual uh, device so now what happens when a user now wishes to turn it off what happens in that case this will send a put request to the database server and it will send the id of the switch along with true or false and this is a put request that will reach this asp.net core web api and it will make an alteration to the switch state and immediately afterwards and immediately afterwards it will send immediately it will send a put request to the a remote device and and make a change to the state of the leds so this is the whole sequence ultimately the whole state is stored in this database and esp32 communicates with this server to set its initial state and this winforms application it sends the change of state to this application it stores in the database and sends a corresponding request to the remote server uh, to the remote uh, to the remote device this is what is actually the whole plan in this project in the next few tutorials we will implement this and i will show the code for this and an implementation for this we will discuss in the coming tutorials we'll close it right now thank you